Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah al -Brik. Her Royal Highness wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to the wife of His Majesty the Sultan of Oman, Ahad bint Abdullah bin Hamad Al Busaidiya, on the Omani Women's Day. His Royal Highness Prince, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika, expressed her admiration for the national care and support enjoyed by Omani women, appreciating the major role they are playing in their country's progress. Her Royal Highness Prince. Sabika commended the dedicated efforts exerted by Oman's First Lady to advance Omani women, adding that she is looking forward to broadening cooperation between the two countries in areas of common interest based on the existing solid fraternal bilateral relations. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia hosted the second edition of the Gulf Entrepreneurs Forum in the capital Riyadh. In the presence of ministers of industry and trade in the Gulf Cooperation Council countries and with the wide participation of Gulf entrepreneurs and entities supporting the entrepreneur's hip sector. The forum aimed to empower Gulf youth in the entrepreneur's hip sector by exchanging experiences and reviewing pioneering experiences in the sector, seeking to develop it, discussing its challenges, finding appropriate solutions and encouraging innovation, which can contributes to promoting economic growth in the Gulf market. The forum targeted GCC entrepreneurs and business incubators and accelerators and financing institutions in the GCC to enable entrepreneurs and owners of SMEs to expand at the regional level. It also highlighted available financing opportunities and alternatives and the best solutions to face challenges and encourage innovation to enhance economic growth. Bahrain joins the world countries in celebrating International Day of the Air Traffic Controller. It's also a day to learn more about the profession of air traffic controller. Air traffic controllers at Bahrain International Airport work 24 hours a day with vigil and dedication to ensure the safety of aircrafts and smooth handling of air traffic. About 100,000 flights around the world take off and land each day. In just one year, over 4 billion passengers travel by plane. With so many planes in the air, it's amazing that that flying by plane is as safe as it is. The safety of air traffic is largely attributed to air traffic controllers. The job of air traffic controllers is extremely difficult. Their job requires intense concentration. On the International Day of the Air Traffic Controller, members of the International Federation of Air Traffic Controllers Association gather together to discuss ways to improve air safety. It's also a day to encourage air traffic controllers and thank them for doing a great job. The Minister of Social Development, Osama bin Ahmed Khalaf al Asfour, participated in the 77th session of the Executive Office of the Council of Arab Ministers of Social Affairs. The minister affirmed Bahrain's approach in supporting all forms of joint Arab cooperation and solidarity led by His Majesty the King and the supported by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The meeting discussed preparations for the convening of the 42nd session of the Arab Ministers of Social Affairs Council to be held in Doha and review topics, topics on the agenda. Minister of Health Dr. Jalila bint Sayyid Jawad Hassan stressed the importance of building the capabilities of the health professionals through comprehensive training programs. The minister was speaking as she received in her office Yemeni Health Minister Under Secretary for Planning and Health Development Dr. Ahmed Al Kamal on the sidelines of the participation of Yemeni cadres in the training program on developing leadership in the health sector. The program was the result of an initiative by the GCC Health Council which convened in the Kingdom of Bahrain from October 16 until the 20th. The Minister of Health welcomed the Yemen delegation, lauding strong ties binding the Kingdom of Bahrain and Yemen. Both sides discussed means of boosting joint cooperation and coordination in the health field. The meeting was attended by Yemeni Ambassador to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Dr. Ali Al Ahmadi, Assistant Undersecretary for Public Health, Dr. Maryam Al Hajri, and officials from both sides. The President of the National Council of Arts, Sheikh Rashid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, inaugurated the second art exhibition of the Plastic Art Group at the Sudanese Club in Bahrain, which is hosted by the Sudanese Embassy and will continue until the 28th of October. This exhibition also includes a collection of wood carvings and abstractions that the, in the exhibition aims to introduce Sudanese culture in the fields of plastic arts in its various schools and to consolidate the rule of plastic arts, in particular in raising aesthetic awareness and human values in general. 
The Labour Market Regulatory Authority, the LMRA, represented by its legal control division, conducted a joint inspection campaign in cooperation with the Nationality, Passports and Residence Affairs of the Ministry of Interior and the Director of the uh, Government uh, Police. Uh, the campaign also resulted in reporting a number of violations related to the provisions of the Labour Market Regulatory Authority law and the residency law in the Kingdom of Bahrain, as procedures were taken in accordance with the legal mechanisms in place. LMRA stressed its keenness on continuing joint inspection campaigns with the relevant government bodies across all governments of the kingdom in a bid to develop the work environment and firmly confront illegal practices.